Hello and welcome Libra. Let's take a look at your cards, the messages here and see what resonates for you. Let's have some fun with it. Let's see if anything is relevant to your situation. You may gain some guidance or inspiration or creative idea that come from the cards. So let's see what your first card reveals. Celebrate the day. Perhaps there is an important engagement, event, something happening at this time or coming up that is a celebration of sorts. And you may even want to look at this as a reminder to be thankful for every day that you have and enjoy each day and look for a reason to celebrate each day. So this is about asking for help. The Earls will guide you. Just ask for their help. So asking for help or assistance, perhaps you have done that and now things are starting to move in a swift way or a positive way for you. Um, perhaps you are planning to ask for assistance, help, guidance. Um, maybe someone has more skill than you in a particular area and you're learning from them. Things are looking up. Whatever you try to do, you will find your own success and joy. So whatever it is that you are focused on at the moment, that you're holding an intention toward, you know that things are looking up now. You can start to see it. There's been a turnaround. The wait is over and this blessing, this miracle is now in your hands. So amazing, amazing things happening here. It's important for you to be yourself. You know, this could be a reminder, especially if you are feeling like you're having to be fake with someone. Because being yourself is going to make you feel happier, of course. You may also be making a decision that someone doesn't like. The title of that card was It's Your Song. So perhaps there's a need for you to go your own way or to make an independent choice. As a child of power, you can bring joy and purpose to the world. So are you wanting to bring something important to others? That's what this card would suggest. And maybe you're on that journey at the moment. So maybe you are on that voyage. You're traveling down that path. Perhaps there's a change that you're seeking and it might be outside your comfort zone. So you have to draw on your inner strength to move forward because there's an unknown that's coming into the picture here. Now is the time to move your thinking onto a higher level. Are you recognizing that you're doing that? Maybe you're doing it day by day, you know, celebrating each day and bringing more energy, positivity, moving your thinking in a certain direction day by day. So you are equipped to do more than you have contemplated and you know that you will succeed in your heart of hearts as well. You might be starting to see success in a certain way and you have been upset in the past by the actions of others. Now, haven't we all, but perhaps there's a thing here, something that you're still holding on to and maybe now is the time for you to say enough and live your own life, go your own way or Put in some boundaries. So the dove symbol, beautiful. So this is about being, being gentle with yourself and enjoying loving, caring, genuine relationships. And so you might be deciding that enough is enough in a relationship that isn't like this and you're putting in barriers, boundaries and protections. Um, perhaps you are drawing a line in the sand with someone. Maybe you're experiencing a blessed connection at the moment. Maybe with someone new. Whether it's romantic or a new friend. 
And perhaps you are now allowing love into your life. You're opening up your heart and you have a lot of clarity around you. And you know that you're on the right path. Yes, and you are discerning. You're discerning about who you let allow into your circle. So yeah, that goes back to the relationships, allowing loving relationships only. And you are mindful of being with people who support who support you, who support fun, loving vibrations. And it might be easier for you at the moment to take time for recreation or play. So perhaps you know that balance needs to come into your life and and you're just enjoying the, the moment. And you're feeling more good natured or easygoing. You're letting things flow. You're not resisting things. You're more accepting and you're feeling more powerful than you have in a certain situation where you may have been powerless. You're strong, you're healthy, and you can envision, you can imagine potential futures. So perhaps there is your mind is creating, your imagination is creating future realities and opportunities and, and you're mulling something over in your mind. And you're aware that your thoughts and words and actions really do have power. And so perhaps there is an emphasis and a focus on working your career, a business. Um, but you're also balancing that professional life or that intense focus on play, on having fun, on being social or doing something that brings your heart joy. Maybe these two things are combined. Maybe you are thinking more along the lines of doing something for your job, career or work that's in alignment with your, mm, your joy, your own personal joy. Perhaps you are modeling habits of successful people and you're improving yourself. You're speaking up for yourself more, perhaps, and you are shining your light brightly. I listen to the intuitive wisdom of your feelings. So honoring your feelings, not being controlled by them or not being led by them, but Definitely allowing them to be. And are you daring to dream, daring to have a vision, daring to um, want to create a different situation in your life and making choices in alignment with this hope? It is easy for me to attract all that I need into your life. So perhaps you're aware that maybe changes need to take place to allow better things into your life. Maybe it is, um, you know, looking at certain relationships and the dynamics going on there. Maybe it is assessing your feelings and really owning and understanding how you are feeling about something. You're trusting that things will work out perfectly. Life is good to me. So that might be an affirmation you're using or would like to use. The two of earth. So this is about balance and making sure that you're not running yourself ragged and you are just not giving yourself time for care, care of yourself. And you might be putting a lot of a lot of energy or worry into a particular situation and perhaps that really needs to be balanced. And perhaps there's been an emotional upheaval with the five of water. It can represent that, a lost disappointment, emotional upheaval. And the emotional upheaval might be connected to things being out of balance. Um, you're not taking enough care with yourself or in a situation. Um because you might be feeling drained emotionally. And so, you know, you've got to give yourself space if you need it. 
the eight of fire usually represents movement, momentum and things happening um, that have been at a standstill. It might also represent for you travel or going abroad. Nine of fire. So things are looking up. There's there's a, I would say, a spring to your step because something might be coming to a conclusion. You are overcoming the challenges in a certain situation or relationship. And there's a, a sense of positive forward momentum. The ace of fire. So you might be have a passion on your heart. You might have something you're wanting to say or do. And you're going out there and taking those first steps. And the four of earth, perhaps to build something stable for yourself, something stable, something concrete, um, something that is uh, going to be bringing in abundance and prosperity in the way that you need it. It is earth energy, so it might be financial, work-wise health, something material in your life. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.